See? Walt was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Philidor. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Walt? Walt? We don't need Walt to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. Got him! More ways had time to say goodbye to you. Oh, my God. 
So, yeah, Walsh wasn't here, and they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off, but the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> my infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Walsh is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Velidor? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well... That's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. But he's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, and maybe he knows something about Luan, too. Why do you think he knows anything about Luan? First of all, because she was after him. But also, because it's much more complicated than that. You see, the last time she went off radar like this was when this fucker dumped her. So if she's not answering now, I'm getting really worried this is something more and Hakon could be involved. What do you mean something more? I'm afraid she's found a lead on Hakon, and she means to hunt him again. Which means she could get herself into trouble. Do you know what really made the Night Runner special, Aiden? I mean, true heroes. It wasn't the inhibitors, not the strength or speed they granted us. For the Night Runners, it was balance that set us apart. Self-control. That's why Lawan couldn't become a Night Runner. Not because she was too young. She was the fastest, braver than a lot of my men. But she couldn't achieve balance. Um, self-control. This should be good. Don't laugh. We used inhibitors, but they didn't use us. We had a focus on mental and emotional strength, not just physical abilities. Balance. Physical strength is important. But it's what you do with it that determines what kind of human being you are. That's why Hakon's betrayal hurt us so much. I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Luan. Just remember, they're listening to you too. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck.
Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire's still smoldering. Hey, then. Why did you want to meet, Hakon? 
Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Sounds like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. He's still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Try taking it from me, Hakon. I'll do my best. Promise. Get that key from him! You've made quite a name for yourself in this shithole. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah. But they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. <laughs> 
I trusted you, Aiden. <laughs> How tough you got! Hakan! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time!
people have you betrayed, Hakon? Killian? Frank? Luan? Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? <laughs> Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I, I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want this. Frank? It's Aiden. Hakon's dead. Oh, fuck no. I knew this would happen. Well, come back to the fisheye. 
I overheard something more about Waltz. He's heading to old Villador Aiden. The person he tracked down is a GRE doctor. Is that related to the database? Yes, and I think I know the person he's after. I'll try to use the radio to reach her first. Taking that key, Aiden. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. We'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. Do the Night Runners mean nothing to you? Don't you want to make things right, Hakon? Nothing to make right anymore. The Night Runners are long gone. No matter what Frank says, he ain't gonna raise the dead. <sighs> Although it's a nice dream. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back. But I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. Neither do I. I mean, I'm so tired. So fucking tired. It's quite a trip, huh? <sighs> I was worried that I'd have to learn surfing on my own. Thanks for softening them up for me. Oh, it's my ray of sunshine with a lethal crossbow. Shut the fuck up. A good thing you didn't finish me off, Aiden, or she would have been pissed. The one? How did you f have my own connections? Try to stop me, and we're no longer friends, Aiden. Killing Hakon won't help you, the one. <laughs> what the fuck do you know? I know about the Night Runners. Frank told me. He spoke about balance and letting go. Uh, he's one to talk. But he has, and you could too. Can't you? Luan, he said he wanted to protect you. What is he talking about, asshole? He said he joined Waltz because he wanted to spy on him. Aiden, shut up. But he had to stop because Waltz threatened to hurt you. <laughs> Bullshit. I know you. Stop bullshitting me! Luan! This is bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. You, you sure? Go before I change my mind, you asshole. I'm sorry. How you feel? I don't know. I... I feel... relieved. Some peace. Finally, but... But I should have killed him. He was on my list. He's still on my list. And throw your list away. That list is my only purpose. It helped me keep going. Throw it away, Luan. You think you know me? Uh, Fuck you. Luan, wait. Sure. Waltz. <laughs> Bravo, Luan. You made it. Frank? 
Where you been, kid? Waiting for you at the fisheye. Get over here. Yeah, uh, Look, a lot went down since we last spoke. Fuck. What happened? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. And... You won't believe this, but... Luan was there, and... She let Hakon go. She what? Yeah. She destroyed her kill list. I'm floored. Save your shock for later, Frank. What about that doctor? Come to the fisheye, Aiden. I'll tell you everything. Us? Who's us? Hey, Frank? Killian? Our former night runner? Well, we think, damn, well, the party is over. And then Frank took out two bottles and says, this house may run out of bread. Is this a private party, or can anyone crash it? You've done a lot for the city, Aiden. For the Night Runners. You'll be one of us someday, Aiden. You'll make a decent runner, won't he, Lawan? Huh? Ah, oh, the best! But as for today... Hey! Everyone! I wanted to say something. Hey! Everybody, hey! Hey! Shut up, all of you! Frank's got something to say. By whatever authority remains in me, I hereby make Luan officially and forever a night runner. The fuck yes! Hey, Luan! Get the fuck out! Oh, get him a beer! Frank? Uh, you mean. So, you're really bringing back the night runners? No, you're bringing them back. You and Aiden, in fact. You've already started. These old bastards are all former night runners who heard my broadcasts and came back. But you, you did them one better. You grew up. <laughs> Fuck you. See? The creed. If Hakon's alive, it means you learn to forgive. You found balance. That's what being a night runner is really all about. What about you, Frank? Do you forgive? Your timing always sucked, Hakon. Sometimes. But maybe not this time. I thought you could use this. Where'd that come from? I've kept it with me all along, Frank. So what will it be, Chief? If Luan can forgive you... <laughs> I guess I have no choice. Not a ringing endorsement, but I'll take what I can get. Good. Now, this is Lawan's time, not yours. Step back and shut up. Everybody, get your asses up to the roof. Much better place for a ceremony than a fucking bar. Oh, yeah! To serve a cause greater than myself. Today I am forged anew. To serve a cause greater than myself. I shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind. I shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind. I shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the light in the darkness. I shall be the light in the darkness. This is my sacrifice. This is my sacrifice. This is my pledge. This is my pledge. As a night runner. As a night runner. <laughs> I'm gonna make you proud. You already have, and I say that calls for celebration. 
Everyone, back down to the bar. Aiden, the GRE doctor I told you about. It's Veronica Ryan. She lives in Old Villador. Are you kidding me? What? Well, she's one of the first people I met here. We were acquainted once. She used to come to the canteen. I guess I managed to avoid pissing her off during my booze hound days, because I convinced her to help you. Can we talk before you leave, Aiden? Uh, sure, yeah. Mm, I seem serious. Talk to you later, kid. Good luck. So, congratulations. Sorry for avoiding you. I just... You know what they say. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Yeah. That's a pilgrim saying. Neither of us need to worry anymore. So you're officially a night runner. How's that feel? <laughs> so strange. For so long, it was just Frank. And the night runners were just a ghost story of his. Now, we're like a fucking Insta family. Even hack on, for fuck's sake. Can you believe it? Yeah, having Hack on back must be weird. <laughs> Tell me about it. Spent so much time wanting to kill him. But maybe, you know, maybe I never did because I never really wanted to. Maybe all I ever wanted was to stop hurting. Well, um, are you hurting now? Not really. Itchy, maybe. Like when an infection's healing. But I'm not in pain for the first time in... I don't know how long. Luan, I... I was worried. <sighs> Here it comes. When you left, after... Um, <laughs> after your place, I... Hack-ons and my place. <laughs> yeah, I can say that now. If I can say that then it proves that you don't have to worry about me. Of course I do, especially now. I mean, take it from a pilgrim. Happy people are vulnerable people. <laughs> Aren't you a buzzkill? No, it's just that after everything, I just, I just don't want to see you hurt again. <laughs> Next time I get hurt, I ain't going to piss around so long before I kill the fucker. I guess I better quit while I'm ahead. Look, I'm sorry I bailed on you. I was just... No, it's okay. It, it was really none of my business. But I made it your business when I took you there. Maybe I did it on purpose. On purpose? You've made me and Frank all this your business. And look how much all of us have gained. Maybe I... I wanted you to know. But I was too chicken shit to come out and tell you so. And so we went shoe shopping. <laughs> right. Those fucking shoes. They look good on you. Okay. I've I gotta go. I... To look for your sister, right? Sometimes I envy her. Envy her? How? That she means so much to someone. I'm sorry. Fuck, I'm talking bullshit. People care about you, Luan. Oh, fuck off. No, really, I didn't mean to. Just shut up. Thank you. Frank's got something for you, Aiden. Yeesh. No one. They're waiting for you downstairs. I'm coming, Hakon. Fuck. You... Go do your thing, Aiden. And good luck. Right now, I think I just gotta do my thing. 
The more things change, the more they stay the same. Hey, eh, kid? Uh, Frank found that doctor you were looking for. Veronica Ryan. Seems she used to work for the GRE. And I thought I knew everything about the women in this city. You can probably find her somewhere around the church. I have more to tell you, Luan. Think there was nothing worse than the infected. Have you seen Luan? There's still some booze left, I'm sure. Well, I think there is. No, listen, I I'm looking for Luan. But she was with you on the roof. And then she left and came here. Here? Here, yes. Jesus. Have you seen her or not? Yeah. You have? When? Did she leave? I saw her with you on the roof. Yes, I... I know that. Yes. Uh, okay. Never mind. Enjoy the party. Hey, you too, Aiden. Jeez, I miss my wife. Hakon. Aiden, what did you say to her? What did you do? Wait, what? Why? She was quite... Uh... Well, let's just say she was in no mood for celebration. I tried following her, but you know her, Aiden. If she doesn't let you, you won't ever find her. Nicholas, I I'm looking for Luan. Boy, oh boy. Leaving your own party just like that? I mean, she was here for like a minute, then she was gone. What got into her? A few years ago, I would just say women. I just don't get women. But something tells me this is more complicated than just that. Frank, have you seen Luan? Did she leave? Yeah, uh, that was strange. She seemed upset. Did she say anything? Where, where was she going? No, sorry. No clue. Uh, she's a night runner now, you know. It's a big deal. Uh, she's not here, so she probably went back to her place. Around a while. You're practically one of us now. 
Come back before you get too drunk. Bring your booze and... Browse. Take all the time you need, Lord. Oh, you sure did your homework.